Brian, yeah. it's, I'm always happy to see you here in the Philippines. Happy to see you as well. Great, always great to be back. Great to you. Uh, can you explain your love for uh, the Philippines? Well, I guess now it starts <laughs> with my <laughs> wife and her family. You know, being married to a Filipina is, is a fantastic thing. Um, my love for Filipino food has gone through the roof. <laughs> and just the, yeah, well, so much adobo. Mama, you, you gotta have some of Mama's adobo. But uh, getting back to the subject, it's, um, it's just the love. There's so much love here. Uh, so many people, uh, as you meet them and you come back year after year after year, and you see how much they love you and how much love they b bestow upon you, how much, you know, not through social media, but even when you're not here, they're constantly telling you how much they love you, and it's, That's it's right. so much heartfelt um, love for the kind of music that I do. And it just tells you that the Filipino folks love love songs, man. It's, it's, yeah. it's and, great. And, and I think you're you're quite aware that uh, your songs are in the playlist of uh, yes. Filipino couples. <laughs> yes, yes, all the weddings and and That's and right. uh, birthdays and, and everything is great. Are you surprised? Uh, I would say I'm surprised it's been happening for so long, but I'm still surprised that it still happens. You know, with so much music out, there's more music in the world now than there's ever been, that they're still going back to my music that, you know, has frankly been around now almost 30 years. It's That's the surprising part. You know, it's, it's truly amazing. I'm so grateful that it, that's the case. Yeah, and I'm glad that I was there 30 years ago, or 25 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> yeah, 20, 26, almost 27, yeah. Okay. So you have a show in Cebu. Uh, in Cebu on Wednesday and then here at the Solaire tomorrow. Okay. And... Um, you know, a little different because I'm all by myself. So this is my sort of singer-songwriter show. Okay. There's no band. There's no, you know, I, I play and I sing and tell the stories wow. behind the songs. And since it's Christmas time, can I get to play some Christmas songs as well? So it's right. a way that the folks here have never really seen me, but I've done this show in other parts of the world, so I wanted to bring it here as well. Wow, just the voice, huh? The voice and the piano and the guitar <laughs> and <laughs> some tracks, but yeah, just me. Okay. What's your Christmas wish? My Christmas wish is the same every year. I wish that the whole world could get along the way we do when we're listening to music. You know, when we listen to music, it doesn't matter what religion we are, it doesn't matter what color we are, it doesn't matter um, if you're rich, if you're poor, you just have a love for something that affects you in a way that you don't worry about the That's outside right. noise. Um, peace, peace on earth, you know, a way that we could all live together in, in peace and harmony would be fantastic. And, and we're very, very happy that uh, you're in that uh, direction because uh, uh, universal music, baby music, yeah. is uh, all over the world. And that's the only thing, that's our <laughs> legacy that we leave, you know, the, the folks that are here when we're gone. Okay. Um, and again, you know, you, you can be mad all you want while you're here, but, you know, when you're gone, you're gone. So whatever you do while you're here okay. is what's most important. So how, how is that going along, uh, the children's music? The baby music. Uh, it's, it's always going well because it's the one thing that we all have in common. You know, if, you, if I wrote songs about fixing cars, only mechanics would, be able <laughs> would understand what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, all we ever want to do is love and be loved. And I think that's the universal thing that we all have in common, no matter where we come from. And I don't think that'll ever change. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, and and we're, we're also happy that uh, you're working with Filipino artists. Uh, yeah, I've, I've worked with a few from yeah. Martin and Regine and Gary V and oh, and and, uh, and Kyla and uh, yeah, I've, you know, there's so many people here that can sing so well. I I tell people all over the world, you know, I think some of the greatest and possibly the greatest singers in the world are right here in the Philippines, and I mean that for sure. I'm not just saying that because I'm here. <laughs> I've, I've seen it firsthand. Um, I met Kyla just looking at her sing my songs on YouTube, and then I wrote a song for her, and it was just because I was just, right. I was enamored by, you know, what she was able to do, and it was truly amazing. Yeah, amazing voice. Yeah. What's your message to all your fans? Just thank you. I'm so grateful that um, I, I never dreamed in my wildest estimation that I'd be able to go to other parts of the world, mm -hmm. or even, yeah, I, I mean, when you're a kid writing songs, you hope for something like that, but to actually have it come to fruition, to have come to the Philippines as many times as I have, and now okay. almost 50, and still coming, it's, you know, it blows my mind, and I'm just so thankful and grateful that there are people out there that, that like the same music that I do, because okay. I only create what I like, and I hope that there are other people out there that like it too, and it seems to continue to happen, and I'm, I'm just so grateful and thankful. Okay. We're happy for you. I think you're everywhere. You've been, been doing everything, uh, yeah. host, 
uh, singer. <laughs> yeah. I hope you'd been an actor. <laughs> <laughs> some. I've done some movies. I mean, I'm not, I have acted, but I'm not an actor. You know, I'm not, you know, seeking a, a movie career. But, you know, if it falls in my lap, I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. You got it. Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas to you.